Cold casting is a method of getting a metallic effect piece without using any metallic paints or actually casting out of metal. This piece is actually made completely of plastic and has no metallic paints on it whatsoever. Cold casting is when you embed a metallic powder into a plastic. I'm going to show you exactly how cold casting is done by showing you exactly how I made this piece. Let's have a look, shall we? The first step for cold casting a piece is you're going to need to coat the inside of your mold with a metal powder. Now you can use a lot of different metal powders, um, for example you can use iron or bronze or aluminium or a bunch of other stuff. Today I have aluminium powder that comes in this bottle here um, and I've got a brush with me. Now I'm going to stick the brush into the powder and use that to apply it to the surface of the mold. Um, Silicone is actually quite a grippy rubber so once you apply the powder to the surface it should coat very nicely and it should keep the powder coat on the surface. So I'm just going to dip my brush in. You can see here that it's now got powder, it just dropped a little bit. Okay, once you've finished coating both sides of the aluminium powder, if there's any excess, you can just turn them upside down and tip them out. Um, you can do this on a piece of paper so that it's easy to tip it back into your bottle of powder. Okay, so now that I've coated the inside of the mold with the aluminium powder, I've closed it up so it's ready for casting. Um, the next step is to mix up my plastic that I'm going to cast with. So I've got here a two-part polyurethane casting plastic. Um, you don't have to use polyurethane for cold casts, you can use whatever you want. Um, the thing that you need to do uh, is to mix a little bit of uh, the metal powder into the plastic. That'll embed some metal powder into the actual piece. Um, I tend to use maybe about a quarter of the volume of the plastic that I'm going to mix up will be powder. There you go. So now I have uh, powder inside the actual cup. Um, now it's a good idea to only put one part of your plastic and mix it with the powder first and let it sit for a few minutes. Um, this is because when you actually mix um, a liquid with a powder material, it tends to mix a lot of air into this liquid as well. And we don't want that. So now I'm going to leave it for a couple minutes and I'll come back. Okay, so now that I let this sit for a while, um, most of the air bubbles should have sort of risen to the top, worked their way out on their own. I'm going to mix in the second part of the plastic. Once I'm certain it's all mixed up nicely, I'll then pour it into my mold here. Now what's happening when I pour um, this in is not only will it give me a cast of my Cortana data chip uh, that has metal powder embedded in it, but it'll also bond with that powder that I dusted in onto the surface, giving it a nice top layer lots of metal powder on top and I'll explain exactly how this gives it a metallic effect once I've finished casting. Now I just gotta leave it and wait for the plastic to cure so it's fully hardened. Uh, that'll take a few minutes and I'll come back and show you what the casting looks like. I think I left this long enough to cure so I'm now gonna take it out and have a look. Show you guys what it looks like. Just gotta open up all of this. Hopefully it's come out nicely. Yeah, there you go. And that's the piece. You can see it's kind of a grayish color. Um, that'll match whatever metal you put in, really. And here it comes. There you go. There you go. And that's the piece. Now, uh, you might be thinking, oh, that doesn't look very metallic right now. And you'd be right. Um, I have not finished the process on this. Uh, there's still about two or three steps left to go. So the um, well, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of these sort of extra little bits uh, or what's called flashing um, when you um, have a cast part. Flashing is all of this sort of extra that creeped into the seam line between the two mold parts. So I'm going to cut all that off, um, clean it up, and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so now I've finished trimming off all that flashing. You can see it now looks quite clean. 
Um, now, to bring the metallic um, effect to the surface uh, and to sort of, you know, show the metal that's embedded in the plastic, what you do is you take some really fine steel wool, some uh, quadruple zero grade, which is the finest grade steel wool, and you buff the surface. What this does is it removes the plastic particles, but leaves the uh, metal particles where they are, and also sort of scratches them, which makes them uh, nice and shiny. So, um, that's what you need to do to give it that metallic effect. But one thing you can do to make it look even better um, as a cold cast piece is to weather it um, and to age it a little bit. So the easiest way to do that is to do a little bit of black weathering before you actually go over it with your steel wool. So I've got here a paintbrush, some black acrylic paint, tissue, um, so I can just wipe some paint off, and this box I'm going to use for putting the paint in. Okay, so I finished the weathering on this. You might be able to see the sort of black outlines and I'll the black paint that's now in the detail areas on both sides. So um, to finish it off, I'm going to use my steel wool and I'm going to buff it. Um, you don't need to uh, rub it very hard. Um, you should be able to see the results pretty much instantly. If you look at that now, it's already looking much more reflective and metallic. And that's just from quick rub down with the steel wool. So, if you look at this now, that's a lot more metallic now than compared to, say, this side. You see how that's different? Um, it's actually easier to see in person, the metallic um, effect. But so I'm just going to go all the way around with this. And then I'll show you a couple photos of the finished thing. And there you have it. Your finished cold cast metal piece. I'm just going to turn off this overhead light. Perhaps I'll show the metallic effect much better. Overall, it's a really easy way to get a really nice metallic effect on plastic cast pieces. So, I hope you guys learned something, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, um, I hope you liked that video and you learned something from it. Now, I only make these videos when I can think of something that I believe you would like to see or learn about uh, in terms of prop making. Now, I can't think of everything, so if there's something you'd like to see, then uh, feel free to leave a comment in the section below and suggest it. Uh, now, if you did like this video, and if you did learn something from it, and you'd like to learn more, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with all of my other projects that I don't put on YouTube, then head over to my Facebook page over here and like it. Finally. If uh, you'd like to see what props I have for sale, uh, head over to my Etsy page and you can see all of that stuff. See you guys next time.